Okay, so it's Friday the 15th of March, April, <laughs> and parked my van a bit tight <laughs> the other week, lack of spaces. So I'm just going to get in here somehow. Down the back there's some good wee bushes I planted in the car park the other week. So yeah, it's, uh, did I say it was Friday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday the 15th. Of April and I've got three jobs today just around the corner in Syston on to Quinnenborough and another in Rayfley so I've got about four and a half hours work just start the van up just let the uh, oil pressure build up before I move on so I've got uh, various tools today. I've uh, been asked to dismantle um, a frame um, which is over the pond, which you saw in the, um, the frog spawn video. So I've got to dismantle that. So I've basically just got my uh, tool kit, which has got my little crowbar, a uh, hammer, and I've got my saw as well, just in case I need to saw anything off. So that'll be coming down today. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see some tadpoles. I don't know how long they take to gestate, but it's been two weeks since I um, showed you the last video. So yeah, I'm gonna load the van and then get to the first job in Syston, which should only take about 20 minutes. A long cut takes 10, so I've got to cut, cut an edge today, so that shouldn't take any more than about 20 minutes. There's my gear. I'll get it loaded on. It's now 10 to 1, and I've done there's the front lawn and cut and edged it, pulled out the weeds from the borders, and I've um, edged edge of the back, just pull out the weeds. Uh, the bit, bits of grass that have grown on into the border just got to pull those out first and then go along and strum it I mean uh, mow it so uh, the bird's nest is still there it's still up in that little bush there it's a wood pigeon and I think he's got his uh, little chicks now because over here there's a empty shell so he's still up there I'll get this uh, mowed uh, pull out the edges and then get into the next one It's just coming up for uh, 10 past one, it's about seven minutes past, so that's taken me just a little under half an hour. A little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's okay. I'm only about five minutes over running. So yeah, I've cut and edged it, um, got all the weeds out of the borders. Don't know if you can see the stripes on there. Yeah, all the weeds are out on the borders. The old pigeon didn't, didn't come out of the um, nest, so I didn't disturb him, which is good. Bit of an old black ant's nest down here. And they're going mad, so I'll put that back. I think it's time we have a new table. <laughs> and I've got one bag. I can roll that. That all stays here, which helps me. On to the next one. The sun's are blazing. It's meant to reach 17 degrees today. And I'm just about to put my uh, slick through the door. So we've got the next visit. Wednesday the 29th of April. And the jobs I've done while he's been out, what I've he's been out. The lawn's cut and edged, past trimmed. A few weeds pulled from the borders and paths blown, so that's £15. I folded it over there so you can't see my address. <laughs> I don't want you guys to know where I live. <laughs> that 
that's the block paving I broke my last phone on. <laughs> Which was a pain because it was a nice phone. Smashed the screen. So I ordered a new screen. Tried to fit it myself and cracked all the LCD. <laughs> Not good. But I've got this now, Nokia Lumia. See you in a bit. So this is the structure I've been asked to get down. Or at least the lot ones that are falling down. You can see where it's come off. All the electric's dead now, so I don't have to worry about that. And I've been asked to leave the posts in and the lattice trellis, which is running along there. But this one here, I'm going to have to put a brace in just down here because the supporting one there she wants coming out. So just got to put a brace in there. So onto the frog spawn. It's still there by the looks of it, and they are very, very tiny little tadpoles. There's a few thousand there, I would have thought. I'll put the GoPro in and see what it looks like. There's uh, two posts there which have rotted, so I've just took those out. No point keeping those in. That one's okay. Just go and put a brace in now on that uh, trellis.
There we go, all done. It is a bodge job, but you can only work with what you got. So the brace has gone in there. And I put another one in there as well because the post had gone. So that's now secure, as secure as it's going to be. And then there's got to saw this wood up now to take around the front for a chap to take away. Love it. So I'm just doing a bit of weeding now. And isn't anybody remember these obviously it looks like a nettle but it's um, called a dead nettle and there's obviously no no spiky poison thorns on there spikes and I used to love as a kid love taking these off and sucking out the nectar <laughs> can you see me <laughs> yeah so as a kid I used to take the little flowers off suck out the nectar you only get a tiny, tiny bit, but it's, it tastes sweet. Yeah, the dead nettle. Now really dead, because I just pulled him out. Sorry, chap. It's coming up for seven o'clock on Thursday the 16th of April and I've got two jobs today uh, two in Melton sorry four jobs today two in Melton and one in Quenneborough Quen one in Syston the one in Syston is a quick uh, feed and weed on the lawn so I've got to go pick some feed and weed up um, and I'm at the Melton Building Society first thing uh, over to the Bells Club back to Quenneborough into Syston to get the feed and weed uh, I've had to get some Unibond out of the loft today some uh, duct tape as it used to be called, well I think it's my Unimon brand. Uh, my still blower um, tube is falling off every time so it's coming away from the, the, tight, the tightness sleeve at the top. So I've got to try and gaff tape that and I pick myself up a new one at some point uh, whenever, whenever I've got the chance. <laughs> so yeah I'm going to go off to Melton and get, get cracking. It's now ten past seven and I'm here at the Bowls Club sorry, the Building Society, get my head on today. Um, I've got them in van this morning and my light was on and I, I felt it to the touch and it was really quite warm so I think I left my light on all night 
Uh, but the van started, so that was lucky. Let's make sure it doesn't come on with the door. So I'm just leaving the engine running for a little bit, just in case to charge that battery that, that little bit more. So yeah, plan for today, cut an edge of the lawns, um, go around, blow out the leaves, trim the um, curb edges, cultivate some of the beds, get some weeds down. All these shrubs are starting to grow. That's a cornice there, a dogwood. There's some mahonia back there as well. And then those big ones there are stags, stags head. So yeah, the shrub is trying to start to grow, but um, I took my HO 100s into the, um, turn the engine off now took my uh, HR 100s into the service shop last week so they said it was going to be about three weeks uh, but they'll try and get on it before then um, so I've got another two weeks at least to wait for those so yeah I'll show you what I mean by the, um, the blower coming off the tube you can still see the stripes from the last visit two weeks ago B and Q got a delivery there. Got my book bag today for here. So here's the blower. So as you can see, the sleeve's still on there, but the tube keeps coming off. So I'm just gonna wrap a bit of duct tape around the sleeve, and then hopefully it shouldn't come off. I oh, know I'll have to take the duct tape off every time. I want to get the tube off but there we go got the haters today for my stripes and the rest jammed in there in a mess <laughs> I should get a crack in so forgot to mention I've got a fencing job today there's my panels only joking, it's like that's for B&Q. A few thousand pounds worth on there. Past 11, and I'm done at the Melton Building Society, so I'm going to just quickly go over and see my mum, and then I'll come back for the Bowls Club, spend two or three hours there, and then off to Cranenborough. I'll see you in a bit. Twelve o'clock. And I'm here at the Bowls Club, been to my mum's for a cup of coffee. And I just parked up here, or came down the drive with, suddenly thought, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> but yeah, I was going to spray a few weeds, blow some pebbles off the drive, and then just see what he's doing really. I don't think it's an awful lot to be doing, so an easy day. And then on to Quenimbra. It's 20 to 1. I've blown all the car park on the paths, blew all the bark back, also sprayed all these weeds. So, hopefully, in a couple of weeks, these should have started dying down. Um, I'm going to go move the van now around to the far corner so I can get the mower and strimmer out and just do a quick mow on the, on the verge. I have got the hater, so I'm going to put it on the highest. And uh, I'm just going to strim down, try and strim down some of the weeds that are coming up across the bank. Uh, I've got to get across the uh, across the stream first, so I'm hoping to put a bit of metal across so I can step over and then go from there.
There we go, that's my bridge. Just swimming down. I've gone up to there. So I'm gonna put the bridge over there and get the rest down. how you do that. I'm glad I got that down, that was a little bit of a worry for me, in regards to how I was going to do it. But um, luckily we, we had that metal cabling uh, tray behind the uh, steel container, so that was lucky. Not sure what time it is yet. Just have a look at the van. So it's just coming at two o'clock, so about 20 minutes, I would have done two hours. I'll carry on, do a bit more and do two hours or maybe two and a half, three. That's made me sweat. Can you see the mallard? Oh, there we go. You can now. <laughs> Looks like he's just had a quick dip in the pond, in the stream. It's quarter to three, I've had, had enough, so I'm off home. Well, off to the next job. I'm off to Wilkinson's to buy some lawn feed and weed. And then on to Quenneworth for the lawn cut. Uh, should take about an hour, an hour and a half maximum. And then I can go home. So I'll probably get home 
quarter past three, half past three, it's four, about five o'clock. Not a bad day. All looks good over here now. Strim the, strim the side, strim the lawns, that all looks good. Keeping that nice and tidy. See you in a bit. It's quarter past three. I'm here at my job in Cranenborough. I've already strimmed the edges. See the grass there? Got to blow those off. I've just noticed on the lawn someone's dug a line. I'm presuming they've got a cable down or something. Might be able to see actually. Oh, I can't feel anything down there. It's quite deep. So it must be a. Uh, buried a fair few inches, whatever it is. It goes all the way along here. As you can see, and then there's like a square bit cut out here. I hope they're going to keep that watered because that's going to die off house. Yeah, but that's a uh, bit unusual. Yeah, not too long today. A few bits on the lawn I've got to pick up as usual. Don't want my hater going over those. I'll get the blower out before I do the mower just to get blow back through the sticks on the edge. So this shouldn't take any more than an hour. If that just gonna do the edges. Blow the edges. Cut the edges, blow the edges, do the off lawn. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you an update on the wisteria as it's now April and all the uh, flower buds are developing. Nice big buds there and plenty of them. You can see all those. See how many there are. Along there, plenty, plenty to come out, so that should look really nice. Yeah, just thought I'd show you that. It's just gone half past seven on Friday, the 17th of April, and I've got three jobs today. Um, one at four hours, one at two, and another at two, so eight hours. And I should be finished at half four, so that's good. Um, I've put my garden waste bin out today, so got rid of some waste today. And so yeah, first jobs in Switzerland. So I'm at my Switzerland job, and I've been asked to repair the mole damage, the patches in the lawn uh, that occurred at the back end of last year. So now's the time to do your grass seed. So they're the kind of patches I'm repairing. You can see quite a few over there. I've dug over already. And I'm basically using a mix of evergreen and rich lawn soil and grass seed. I've just mixed that in with the soil itself and I'll just go over that with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of all the thatch and get some air into this soil here. So I basically go around with a little hand fork, just basically dig it out. And you can see the kind of stuff that comes out. Just thatch. Very spongy this soil is. Just toss that to the side to collect later. Just scratch around the surface to get any more out. And I'll just get out all the all the clumpy bits. So 
so that's nice and fluffy now the air and moisture is going to get down there to help the seed germinate it's going to go around the edges give it a bit of an air rate so that's a good base now for your soil pat it down that little bit let's get a handful pop it in Spread it around. So yeah, in a couple of weeks that should start to germinate. It's a rapid start one from all K's. Rapid start lawn seed should start to germinate in under two weeks. So that's it, we'll come back in two weeks to see how it's getting on. That's me all done and as you can see that was one active mole or two or three <laughs> So this is a new garden for you, you won't have seen this one before, don't usually film here but the, the owner's out, she's due back any minute, so I'll give you a quick look. So all I'm doing today is a lawn cut, I don't usually cut this lawn, she does, so it's my first lawn cut on this lawn ever. Yeah, I'm going to do a lawn cut on edge and just do some weeding on here today. It's now half past two and I've finished my job in Copston. I'm now, um, well I'm just having lunch, just got some lunch from the uh, Crossroads store in Quinnborough, the post office. Got myself some cashews, apple juice and a sausage roll. So the lady in Copston, she's away next visit, so that's in two weeks, she's going on a cruise uh, to uh, Mauritius and the Mal Maldives or something where, something beginning with an M. Uh, various of the places as well, strictly come down some cruise. Uh, not my cup of tea, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm off to Cranenbrad, just around the corner, and uh, that's for two hours, and then I'll be going home. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my lunch, and then get moving.
London. There we go, just dead head in the bulbs. So that obviously gives oh, God, so. Sp spurs the bulb, sending the goodness to the seed. Then it goes back down to the bulb. So you get as good or better flowers next year. It's five past eight. I'm at my racy job and I'm going to cut the lawns, they're rather wet, so I'm going to blow the dew off first. And then get the hate on it.
very wet. Don't usually like to cut in the, in the wet bit. So a chance to get through this one, so there we go. That's the lawn done. Be grassing the land. Kind of lost my mojo on top there for the stripes, so it might be a bit funky up there. In terms of stripes, I'm going to have a quick look.
just round about this area really. Too bad though. Too bad considering all the obstacles.